it's, it's, it was very, very uh, challenge for me. But I'm also I'm very happy because I met people who had a, the, a lot of experience in the field and who, 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 who can transmit their knowledge to our as a participant. But I'm back in my home in, the, in Europe, in Montenegro. I am back uh, at the richest for the, a lot of knowledge management and I am too I'm so happy and I am so excited because I belong of the movement of the Red Crescent and the Red Crescent and they also to be here and to meet people here. Personally I have grown like coordination. How you plan your coordination, community interests, working with different cultures because the culture is different from my country. So I feel I have grown something important for me and I um, feel I am capable to work in any community related to different from my country. <laughs> Field School allows delegates to just practice different types of tools, methods, apply theory in a real field setting. Refer to the guidelines in your blue book. Okay, I'm not going to read them out. But it's up to each team and each team leader to make sure we follow the code that we accept it, okay? No shortcuts. This is real. It challenges the delegates to think in a holistic way when they are in a disaster setting. That came to us in there. So the field school basically says that we need to take people and put them in a real environment for two weeks in remote areas where they have to interact in this complex world and learn from very experienced delegates, coaching them, mentoring them, showing them how it's done, stepping in when necessary and stepping back to allow them to practice. So it's a learning by doing model. Kenya and Extended Field School, it was a learning from both sides, the Kenyan Red Cross and so many nationalities we worked together and in my case it was Hachim Promotion. Together with the Kenyan Red Cross volunteers we prepared some scenarios for the people in the villages. It was for example preparing a song, figuring out teaching material which was suitable for the different villages, speaking different languages, training the volunteers, preparing them and going out together to facilitate them and helping them to start the business. I have uh, achieved the skills to be able to operate, manage and train other people in the Norwegian Red Cross MWAT water treatment plant. This is a big achievement for me. So I have gained a lot in this field school. I think I am one of the luckiest to have participated in this field school. Essentially, I think the field school is the future of the Red Cross being relevant to humanitarian crises and humanitarian disasters.